Hi everyone, so I'm back and I'm here to pick it up from where I left off with the Book Nerd series because people have requested for it. Um, so basically, um, my school started as I, if you have watched my other videos, and I don't have as much time to read as compared to time during holiday. But um, actually, at first when I stopped doing this series because I was thinking that people subscribe to my channel not because of the book but because of my story so but since you requested it I'm happy to do it and I do have some books with me that I have read over this month especially during the holiday um, but I would say that after this batch of books that I'm done videotaping and putting it up the it would be slower. I mean, I would inform you later that, you know, I don't have as much book right now until I really start reading new ones. But today I want to introduce you to two books. Um, if those of you who are interested in the more general kind, I do have really good books to recommend you. Um, today I'm going to talk about this two book. This is The Shock of the Fall and this is The Giver. The Giver is pretty famous, um, so probably I can talk about this one first. They have actually made it into a film and I'm not sure if it's called The Giver but this is actually a very inspirational book. If you are somebody who actually... It kind of made me feel what the character is feeling because I do see flaws in today's societies. Um, I see the sadness in it. I see how people are changing and how the world is changing. but. But then, you know, there are so much things that are different from the past and it's really sad to see that. So, I love this book because, um, okay, I will read what, what the story is at the back. Um, Jonas, Jonas lives safely within a community, a place where there's no war, no hunger, and no pain. But when he's selected as the receiver of memory, he starts to discover dark secrets that li lie beneath the surface of his perfect world. Secrets that will lead him to undertake an incredible journey. This is what I love about this book. This book doesn't talk about the present day. It doesn't talk about what is happening to the present society. It talks about the future. What is happening in the future society. So this community, this main character is living in, is the future of what can happen. It's a perfect world where there is rules and everybody has their own duty. But it also creates a really strange sense of disconnection with people because everyone is assigned a duty. So if you are the the care, uh, let's say, oh, I forgot the, what the name they use inside. So let's say if you're the carer. So what you do is that you your job your daily job is to bring up babies you know they are the mothers they have three years of the job as the mother whereby every year they give birth to one baby and then what happened afterwards is that they become the worker uh, the laborer which is sort of like the lowest uh, status of the society of the community that they're living in and that's not a place where you want to be. So every year there's an entire batch of new babies. And this batch of new babies, they're assigned to each family. So they have a very rigid kind of family structure whereby there's a mom and there's a father. And then there will be like two children. Um, and they actually assign roles according to uh, what the senior of the, of the community observe. So this main character, he, he it was observed and he is deemed to, to have to possess this um, amazing capability of like seeing into the future, of sensing different things come different from his peers. So he is picked as the receiver of the memories. Receiver of the memory means that he would be somebody who uh, will be trained in, by one person, I think it's every 10 years there will be one person or every some years, I, I forgot the exact years 
but uh, there will be one person that is chosen and he will take in whatever that happened in the past and with this memory he has to bear all the pain all the suffering from the past because he is the receiver for the memory he is the only one who can have the memory he can't share it out and he can only pass it on to the next person so um he was the he was picked as the receiver and what happened is that when he start to see what is the flaws within the current society compared to what happened in the past he wanted the change in his community and he undertake this incredible journey which i'm not going to reveal what exactly the journey is but it's pretty interesting and is his desire to change what is happening in the society in his society right now um, so that everyone can live like a normal life this sounds really really strange but this is actually a really good book and the and the writing it's actually pretty comprehensive and easy there's not much hard words but it's pretty interesting book and the next one that I'm going to talk about is The Shock of the Fall. This sounds really strange. Um, there is somebody fell down. There's this family. There's a brother. There's a twin brother. Is it a twin brother? Uh, there's two, just two boys. They are brothers. One is Simon and one is the main character. So what it says at the back of the book is that I'll tell you what happened because it will be a good way to introduce my brother. His name is Simon. I think you're gonna like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages, he'll be dead. And he was never the same after that. This is actually a really, really powerful um, and meaningful book because it talks about the relationship between his brother who has down syndrome come and he who is a perfect uh he he's fine and the shock of the fall in the beginning when you read it you thought that the main character accidentally caused uh the death of his brother yeah no wait yeah you would think that his brother accidentally died and that's why the main character is sad but after you read the book towards the end you realize that the entire story is not the way it seems and that is really really that's what i like about books you know if you can predict the ending what's the point of reading you know but this is a a really um i i i don't know how to describe it but um not only the book is very well structured they actually have a different sort of handwriting like I like books that are structured in this way like they have this kind of handwriting by one person and then on another chapter they have the handwriting of another person so you actually see the different view from different people and together with all the different story they link up the entire entire story and it reveals what happened you know, the shock of the fall was that the main character's brother fell down when they were in the camp and he died because of that. So that's why you, he said that he's going to be dead in a few pages. But um, you realize why the author is so guilty and he keeps thinking about it. And he was near, he was near to the point of uh, having... Um, delusions and having a hallucination because of this um, you will find it strange in the beginning yes because you will think that you know he his brother died uh, he's probably guilty because he loved his brother that much or something but actually it's not but it's not until you read the book you understand what is happening the two brother went to a camp and one they both of them went on an adventure um so in the beginning so one i mean one one of the uh the, the main character fell down i mean sleep and fell and the brother with down syndrome uh helped him up and try to save the main character carry back to the campsite and then you know the in the beginning the author described 
he the brother the si Simon is uh trying his best as he can you know he was weakened by what happened by you know the the strength that took him to to save him that took Simon to save him so that's why he felt sick and he died in the end which is what I thought but it's not really what it seems so that's why I would recommend this book I'm sorry it's a little bright but I recommend this book because it's actually a really good book uh, it's by Nathan Filler for any of you who are interested in the, in the books that I talked about it will be at the bottom uh, of the description so if you click more information you will actually see the name of the book with the uh, with the author so if you're interested in a book do check it out so thank you so much for this and I will upload another video for our next two books